Hoppy Series 1 release day, guys. We got a one box Hoppy Break coming at you. Been excited for this one for a while. Mainly because it's an upper deck product that doesn't have serious quality control issues. And we actually have some good American guys in here to chase again. We got Matty Beneers. We got Matt Boldy. Hopefully we get one of them in here. We got first overall Owen Power in last year's draft as well to hunt. Our usual four canvases, which I love. And this year we have a black and white canvas parallel as well. So right off the bat, we have no dinged corners on the back, which is a big step in the right direction. Clean design so far. Michael Matheson, Freddie Anderson. This is a cool insert. We got defense mechanism, which just the hollow foil on this really pops. Um, a little scary to see that's uh, seven Victor Hedmans. Um, wouldn't want to be facing that, but good job on that insert there. We got Troy Terry, Pellick, Sean Couturier, and John Carlson. So one capital so far. I don't think there are any capitals young guns in this, if I remember correctly. Should have, we had LaPierre last year. I'm sure we have any guys in this. There's the Melka, winning goalie against us the other night. Ryan Donato got some more Kraken cards in the series. Keep some else now. We got an Adam Fox canvas. Much better canvas design this year. Just way, way, way better than the atrocity that was last year's canvas. Uh, Brandon Hagel, Jake Gensel, and Ovi in the blue jersey. cap stack so overall from what i've seen so far no quality control issues which thank god i would rather pay 10 more dollars a box just to have my hits not be ripped down the middle like my one nice canvas it was last year kevin hayes this is a cool one there we go zegris my boy Center of attention. This is a new insert this year. Really clean. Great hollow foil. Not going to be, you know, worth a boatload, but still really nice. I'll take a good looking insert any day, regardless of the value. You get a new cool design like that. Actually good shape. And I'm happy. We got Lawson Krause, we got Elias Sorokin, love the net cam shot there, and Garnet Hathaway, haven't seen that one yet, but love the photo, love the photo, uh, Jake Muzzin, Tristan Jari, we'll throw that in the dartboard stack for tonight's game, sorry Tristan Jari, you've never done me wrong, but... Downey, Jackie Boy, Clayton Keller. Here's the first YG. It's Mads Sogard from the Ottawa Senators. We got, oh, Tony D'Angelo. That'll make the dart board as well. We got Jake Evans, Adam Henrique, Kyle Poso. Cavs fans are probably terrified of that one there. Just decimated us the other night. Nico Dawes. We've got Morgan Riley. And another scary face for Cavs fans, Leon Dreisaitl. A new portraits design. Actually, I don't hate it, which is the first portraits design in years that I actually don't dislike. Kind of solid. Kyle Connor. Josh Bailey. And 
Kapo Kakinen, which I didn't even realize he was on the Sharks. But you learn something new every day. I remember him on the Wild, but I guess I don't pay enough attention to the Western Conference. That dude did really well last year, but I still don't know how to pronounce the last name. Uh, Sammy Gerard. There is another YG, Nick Blankenberg. In the Blue Jackets. Also don't know him. Jeff Skinner. Charlton Taves. Lafreniere. Connor Brown will make the cap stack, even though he might not play again this year. We'll see. Ryan Suter. John Merrill. Kyle Palmieri. Looks like a canvas. Marty Natchez. It's a cool one. Getting interviewed. Suter. Johnson. Cologne. Really hoping for a black and white canvas. Just, just because. I think they're going to be the same rarity as last year's uh, black ones, where they just changed the border color to black, but this year they're going to be all black and white. Uh, Sammy Fagamo from the Kings, Young Guns. So that's three down. Uh, Anthony Manta. Also looking for anything serial numbers. And I also think they took out the... Guaranteed Upper Deck Game Jersey, which sucks. Oh, Sonny Milano. Doesn't really suck on the value end as much as it does just on the collector end. I, I like those. They they do like a dollar to two dollars on Com C, but um well, Beauvillier base and Beauvillier Variation Francais. Very very small down there in the corner. I probably would not have noticed that if it wasn't two Beauvillier cards right next to each other. I always say variation. It's just variant. Variation just sounds better. Eric Carlson, Lucas Raymond, and there is seven Miro Heskinens. I really like these. I'm sure they'll be 30 cents on Com C come two months from now, but I might actually just try to complete that set because those are pretty sweet. Like last year's um, Electromagnetic. I really like those. Philip Kershev. Looks like we got another YG in the middle. Brady Shea, Stuart Skinner. Stellars, and this is a black and white canvas, and it's a Young Guns, and it is Caden Korzak. Okay, I mean, this is cool. I don't know Caden yet, um, but this is really neat. This was a big step in the right direction. They didn't have any canvas parallels until last year with the black but this this just does it for me. This is really cool. Imagine if they had signed in, like, gold Sharpie. Imagine if they did autograph variants of this one. I mean, this is really neat. They should drop them in clear cut when that comes out. Let's do a... They usually do the canvas autos in clear cut. Do a black and white. Make it a one of one. Give us more canvas parallels. You got two parallels of the base... Make two canvas parallels as well. For the people who like them, like me, they're really neat. And there's another. Uh, Young Guns Canvas. Uh, Matthias Maselli. I think he played against us the other night. It's pretty cool. Got to see him skate the other day after they played the caps. I remember taking pictures of him. So, the black canvas... I guess both of them just count as regular canvases. I might be done on the canvas end, but maybe I get five, which would be cool. Um, rookie retrospective and Trevor Zegers. This box is a, a me kind of box. Two Zegers inserts. Two nice canvases. No good regular YGs yet, unless 
I'm just stupid and don't know who one of those guys is. I know who the bigger guys are, obviously. And I'll learn the rest of the guys throughout the year. Kerfoot, new hook. Uh, what is this? Oh, a superstar. Honor roll cards, Lucas Reichel. Marshan for the dartboard. Haven't even noticed that there's other dartboard guys I'm supposed to be putting in that stack. Uh, Colton Pareko. Alex Tuck. Tristan Jari. There's Lucas Reichel. It's a good young gun. I will take it. Owen Tippett. Rasmus Anderson. It's a good one to get. Happy with that. If I get a B level guy, I'm I'm content. You get a bunch of C and D level guys, it's not really fun. There's Reeves for the dartboard. Uh, Dylan Larkin, Victor Hedman, got a Connor McDavid to match the dry saddle portraits. Caulfield. Never got a Caulfield young gun cluster. Still don't have it either. Traded for a Zegris, though I never hit that one. Vitek Vanacek, really cool photo there. Like, love the overhead. Really liked him as a cap. Andreas Janssen, Quinn Hughes, something shiny. It's this box was really meant for me. This is cool. <laughs> Trevor Zegers insert again. Uh, debut dates. So that just shows last year's rookies on their NHL debut. Probably talks about it on the back too. Just a little bit about, yep, just a little bit about his season. Still got two young guns to go. I'm interested to see if we get five canvases. Um, Roslovic, Armia, Faraby, Dylan Strom, cool photo. Uh, Willie Nylander, so five canvases. Mitch Marner. We got Matias Eckholm, Jeff Carter, Johnny Hockey, looks like a young gun. Uh, it's a Blue Jackets, I mean, that could be good. It is Jake Christensen. Not the one I was looking for. Hayton, Svechnikov, and Jesper Brat. One to go. I'm happy with Reichel, though. Would be cool to see a numbered card or something. Rest of line in. Got a Dazzler coming up. Do you love me some Dazzlers? Who we got? Columbus. Okay, not what I was hoping for. Uh, Jacob Voracek. Cool card. Great design again. But not really who I was looking for there. Jimmy Drysdale. This pack looks like it has a little bit of issue there in the foil by the name. That is a little off registration, but I'll take an off registration card here or there. The 1920 product had the vast majority, I think. At least the ones that I pulled were off registration down there in the in the name box. Triana. We got Center of Attention, Dylan Larkin. These really are neat. They match them to the team color. So they look really nice. Connor Helbick. Shesterkin. Two more to go. Yeah, the lack of the jersey card sucks. I genuinely like them. I know a lot of people don't like just basic jersey cards nowadays, but I grew up really liking them, and now they're kind of gone from product. We've got a... What is this? The population report? Pop count a thousand. So this is a new one. This is technically a serial numbered card. I'm not sure if it actually says the number now. But to play on grading, they will put the pop count of this card in the top right corner. So there's 1,000 of these. So even though you don't know which serial number 
you're getting, it is one of a thousand, and there should be different parallels where it will say pop count 500 or 25 or however many are made. At least I believe that's how that works. If that's not how that works, that would be entirely confusing, but that's what I got out of it. Just from reading the preview. All right, I think this should be a YG unless I already got six and I'm forgetting, but nope, got a YG. Brain Point, Heisken, TJ, hi TJ, and Nathan Smith. Not really familiar with him either. Um, I'll take it. I got my six. I didn't get shorted or anything, so that's a plus. I guess technically I did get eight if you count the canvas. So you cannot complain with a eight young gun box. So I think my favorite out of all of those, besides all the Zegerses for the PC, is probably that black and white canvas, which, there it is. That's just really cool. Last year they had this red, but they put it here, just smack in the middle of the card. All the cards look off-centered. The red didn't complement a lot of the different team colors like this one does here for the for the Yotes. So I'm glad they just put it back inside the the box down here. It's a lot cleaner. A lot better design. And then this, instead of making just this black, they made the whole thing black and white. Which, really cool parallel. Love that. All the cards are in great shape. That's a plus. No veneers or anybody huge. Reichel's pretty neat. Pretty good box. Thank you guys for watching.